Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Tim Horn, where we're doing a modded series challenge. Well, not so much of a challenge, just a modded series, an amazing map. In the last episode, we built this secret mining facility. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks pretty damn cool. Now, in this episode, we've got to finish off some projects over here and we've got to finish off a distribution post here. First of all, sorry about the irregular episodes. I've been sick for a while, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. So hopefully, hopefully, we should be getting more regular episodes coming out every other day. So, all right, let's get started. What are we doing first? So, obviously down here, we need to still finish our tower here, and we needed metal for that. We're now producing enough metal. So that means we can finish off this area, we can finish off this area, but in order, it's auto saving, in order to do all of that, we need to get a distribution center out here and over there. We also need to get this all connected. So first of all, we need to get a stairway going down. Okay, so let's let's figure that out first. Let's figure that out first. So I'm just like this one. I kind of want a stairway going down in the middle here, but it's not got the same distance. As you can see, that comes out by two and lands on the levees. We've got one levee here, and this one's out by three. If it was going to come out by two, it would come out in here, and we don't want that. So, oh, that's not even on. Yeah, we definitely need to sort this out. We need to sort this out. ASAP. Okay, so let's pause it before they die of thirst or anything because we are in a 14 day drought. Um, let's figure this out. So I kind of want to make the stairs a little bit different this time. How have I got it like that? I wonder if we could make something that spirals inwards. I don't think we can. We might be able to, because there is a path underneath here that we can use. We can't use anything that goes on top of this. And we can spiral it out into here and make a little bridge across here, or they can get across here. Let's let's just take a look. Let me take a look at a little design. Okay, so I actually have two designs. So we get this one here, so it comes out, comes down, and just straight. It's, it's, it's a basic design. It's an easy design. And I'm most, it mostly give better path in that way. Or we have the design where we go down a bit. It spirals into the back and goes out from underneath here. Now that will mostly make path in a little bit harder. But I think it looks a little bit better. Hmm. I think at the moment we need path in. Because we need to be able to reach everything. So. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build both of them. I'm going to let them build both. And I'm going to delete the stairs and see how far... Well, we can delete that now, actually. We don't need to build it. I'm going to see how far this takes us. If it doesn't take us further enough, then we'll put the stairs there and delete the other stairs behind it. So while they're getting on with that bad boy, we need to start thinking about distribution posts, where we're going to pull it and all that jazz, and what we're going to do with this area. Now, I was thinking of moving the wood storage down here. Reason being is because this is where we're farming all the wood. There's no point then bringing it all the way over there and all that does. How much wood do I actually have at the moment? 900. That might be a bit risky. We do need to keep all of this because I do want to put this up here somewhere, but I don't think I can find an area unless I can build something on top of that. But we'll take a look at that a bit later. So let's get some wood storage down. So first of all, we're going to just do something pretty basic. To be honest with you, we don't need, I'm not assuming, I'm going to assume that we won't need much wood. So we shouldn't need like a tower of wood. But I might just get up to four. Do we have any food? We have food here. Okay, cool. Just to make sure. Where am I storing my food? This is going to be scrap metal. 
I don't really have a storage for food, do I? What is this storage? Resin. This is going to be metal blocks. Metal blocks. And some more scrap metal trees. Thanks. Hmm. We need a food storage. <laughs> we need a food storage. I think I've been using these as storage and this. Yeah. And we need to move that. Okay, let's let's quickly take a look what's underneath here. Is there any way we can place a storage underneath here? Not really. We've got a lot of metal beams in the way. Unless we make a staircase here and make some storage here. But we could just put it next to the uh, next to the wood. I think that's the easiest to do. Because if I make a staircase there, I'm going to have to delete all of this to get down there. So, no, 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 no. Okay. So, we can put some storage. Can we put storage? We can put storage on top of this. We can actually put wood on top of this, can't we? We can actually put the storage first. Like so. And then we can somehow get wood storage up here. We need to put platforms down, which is fine. That's fine. If we do something like that. And then we get And that. I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay. We've got to find a way to get up there. An easy way to get up there. How are we going to do that? We could actually turn this around. Because then we can put a stairs going up from here. We could put a stairs going up this way as well. There's so many, so many different possibilities. If we do something like that, that would get us to the right height. Then we can do that. Slam that down and get that going across. Then we can put a little bit of a decoration towards it. So let's get Maybe one of these roofs? Nope. Look at that. Look at that. Um, what else can we put up there? And then this and this. There you go. That's our wood and food storage so we can desire and allow none in this one and we're gonna put because this place will get maybe some bread maybe some they'll definitely have carrots i don't really want to put a berry thing here because they don't need it they need a small storage for berries yeah okay um i don't think they'll get any more food i'll put potatoes just in case and we do the same here but this one will be they will have a desire for it in this one. So we'll put bread, carrots, and I think, I think I did something wrong. I put potatoes, but it should be grilled potatoes, right? Yeah, it should be grilled potatoes. There we go. Grilled potatoes. Okay. And then we can take off the potatoes. Lovely. So that's food storage done. We can eventually get rid of all this bit, get rid of this bit. And we need to get rid of these two. One step, actually we can get rid of them now. And we can just turn these on. That's fine. I think that is it. We just need berry storage now. And we're sort of done with storage here. Where can I put a berry storage? I can put it literally right here. It fits perfectly. And um, we'll go allowed none, desired many. All right, so that's that bit sorted. Now we need to think about our distribution post and our drop off points. Oh, they've already got the stairwell working. Lovely. Let's see how far we go now. Oh, we just don't reach here. How do we not reach? 
our, I thought I was saying it's not part of the district, it's saying building four. Okay, so we don't reach these last two bits. We don't need this anymore. But we do need that. So, we will need to put stairs right here, unfortunately. Like that. Let's uh, make that top priority so they don't start up the storage just yet and get that done. So now we need to think about distribution post. How big is this distribution post? It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. In fact, it can fit right here. And then we can keep this and that will give them easy access to get over there. So if we delete this over here, turn this round, Look at that. And put um, some decorations there. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach this. Mm, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out, won't they? So we'll get rid of that and that'll be that little sort of, it's like a market trading area. And that'll be pretty much this town done. Now let's see when the stairs is built. They're taking it forever, aren't they? Still can't reach there. So what we're gonna need to do then, we're gonna need to turn this into a staircase up here. So we'll do that and that. We'll put that as a high priority as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They just got it. Yeah, they got it with this. Okay, I will put this anyway, because why not give them an extra way to get down there? I think that's important. So now that is all done, all we need to do is wait for this, all this to be built. Then we can start sending metal to get all of this done. There's a lot of metal things to do around here. And then this bit. So I got a comment <clears throat> to actually, I could put two more power wheels here. I think that's a pretty cool idea. I think that's a pretty cool idea. And I've got all these resources. 5,000 planks, 5,000 gears. I am not worried about wasting resources. So I'm thinking of deleting all of this bit, putting two more water wheels, and then putting this on top. If that is possible. So, if I could get, mm, this just wouldn't have enough space, would it? No, it just wouldn't make it. Because that would have been pretty cool if I could put this on top of this. Yeah, there's no way I could get that working. Oh, these, these arches need to be longer. <laughs> oh, I never knew I needed arches in my life. Mm. You know what? It's going to be fine like this. I do want to keep this area. If I could have put arches on top, then I definitely would have changed that. With these engines, we're definitely going to have enough supply of power. And we're going to build a power district anyway that's going to supply the whole map with power. But there was also something I wanted to do here, wasn't it? I wanted to put arches on all of this stuff. So once we start getting metal over here, we need to start with these arches. So if we delete this and start sort of getting the foundation down, it would be like that. It would be that one, wouldn't it? And yeah, it would be uh, like that. Yeah, so I'm going to change all of that. We're going to get all of that done and we're going to take a look at the final. And there you have it in all its glory. Look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? So we've done all of that now. We've done, we've changed this. Look at this. That looks pretty cool. In fact, since we're here, we can put like benches and all that. Oh, camera's moving everywhere. Sorry, guys. We can put benches and all that there, some bushes there. And that would just give them a place to relax, you know, 
chill out a little bit. Alright, let's get some bushes here. Not that they're doing much work, look at them. They're just chilling. They're literally doing nothing. Yep, yeah, I think that's good. And then we can just do the same thing on this side, I believe. I think we can get some stuff in here. It's a bit different. I think I built it a little bit different on both sides. But that's fine. We can get some bushes in here. And get a bench. That's the wrong way round. Get a bench right there. Okay. So with that done, that done. We've got all our statues. We've got a bell over here now. Everything is seeming, is seeming to go good. Right, have we got food here? Let's check. We've got food, we've got water, everything's fine. Now, I thought of a design for this. So let's let's do it together. So we're going to need another two up here because I want to get rid of these two. I don't want these here anymore. And we need about four to survive the drought. Sometimes maybe more, but it should be okay. So we're going to put arches over this. So first we're going to need to, let's pause it. And I think it's a double platform. I believe so. Let's get that like that. And then a double here. Actually, it might be a triple platform. Yeah, it needs to go up one more. Okay, so it's a triple platform. Like that. And then we put that like so. And then we cover the whole thing. And we make stairway. So let's cover that. So if we put two platforms up to here, like that, and we put a double, and that should allow us to go across. That makes a sort of, it's, it's similar to the one that we have in the main district over at the other side. Then we need to put this like this, one here, stairwell. We'll build up from here, like so. Another stairwell, and that should lead us. Hmm. I did something wrong. Ah, yeah. I need to start the stairwell a bit earlier, so right here. And then we put that there. We we'll delete that and put a level two platform. I'm going to do that. And then we can just put the water on top. Lovely, right? So we're going to put it facing the other way because that's where the path thing comes. But before we put the water up there, I want to get some fencing up there because safety and that. We're always about safety here. And it just adds like a little, like a balcony thing here. And then we can put in the water. And then we can put pathways. And that, my friends, is amazing. So I'm going to put this as a lower priority so they build everything else first. And we'll get that built. That shouldn't take too long, actually, because we should have all the resources we need. <clears throat> Excuse me. So while they build that, we've got to think what our next project is. So we've got two fairly decent sized districts. This one's quite a small district. This one's going to be, what is it, 100 beavers altogether? This one's about 62 or 64. Now I want to start expanding a bit more. There's going to be a massive thing here. You know there's going to be a massive thing here, especially when we have a lot of water coming in from different locations. This should, I'm hoping this rises up to about, up to this bit here. And we're going to have a nice big water district here. Not as in making water, it will make water, but it's going to be on the water. So it's going to be absolutely epic. We've got to get rid of all of these uh, barriers so we get more water flow coming out. So we have to do some exploring at some point. But I need to make an engine area. Somewhere where I can make a lot of trees and a lot of power. Now I was looking at this place here, right? Now if we get rid of these barriers, we're going to have a flow of water coming through here and out here. So that 
would give us a very, very nice flat area to put loads of trees and loads of engines. So I think our next project is to get over here, clean it up and start making it power. Well, everywhere, really. We're going to have power poles going everywhere and it's going to be a constant supply of power. I don't want the engines to ever stop, but that won't be in this episode. That will be in the next episode. So let's get this done. And there you have it. All done. Lovely. Let's see how that looks from afar. That doesn't look too bad. It doesn't destroy the aesthetic too much, actually. I was a bit worried about how it would look because I really like the poles coming off here. And I, I'm not too fussed about this. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. Now, once the drought is ended, we can finally get rid of these. And that would be this town pretty much done. They're producing a fair amount of uh, metal. Um, we do need to adjust this. So this seems to be overproducing or not producing fast enough. So we can bring this up. I'll get them all running eventually. I don't even have beavers. <laughs> I don't have beavers. Would I have to make more beavers? I could put two more breeding pads here. And where would we put a house? We could put another two houses out here if we needed to. But we can, we can check that out in the future. We've got one person there. I don't need people in here now. We don't need to build anything. You can go in there and we can get some people in there. That gives us free, free. For now, let's just get eight people in there. We'll work out the, the calculations of how many beavers per mine we need eventually. And we may eventually do efficient mines, which need explosives, but actually we, we're not making explosives. Never mind, never mind. We're not making explosives, so we're not gonna be using the other recipe. But guys, that is all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.